everyone, this is Jolie Boucher here, and today I'm going to show you the brand new Brain Pop feature, Make a Movie. It is awesome. Students and teachers are just loving this tool. Okay, the first thing you're going to do to access this new feature is you are going to have to sign in with your own premium Brain Pop account. So in our district, we do that through Google Drive. We go to the waffle, and then you will see Moby. There we go. So once you click on Moby, it will sign you into your account. And after you watch your favorite video, you are going to click on Make a Movie. And this will launch the editor to make your very own Brain Pop style movie. So exciting. So here we go. We are about to start creating our own movie. And we get to start with a letter, just like the Brain Pop videos do. So we can answer a letter, we can write a new letter, or we can edit our last movie. You can also assign a Make a Movie project to your students by clicking on the link here, or teach with Make a Movie. So we're going to answer a letter, and I have three different letters to choose from. I'm going to select the first one about metaphors. That will be the topic of my video. So I'm going to choose this letter right here. And now my launcher has opened. This is great. I have all my slides up here, and I have my toolbar over here. Here are my images that auto-populate because they match the movie. I can add sound, annotate images, draw my own pictures, and here's a little help video. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my first slide, and I see here's my letter. And the first thing I notice is I do want to edit my letter. I want to capitalize the J, and I could add any text, or I could change um, any words here as well, but I'm just going to save this. And now I'm going to add a recording. So when I click Add Sound, I can type words, and a computer voice will read the words, or I could record my voice. I love that students have an option. It really would help the hesitant speaker if they could use a computer voice sometimes. So I'm going to record my own voice. Dear Jolien and Moby, what is a metaphor and why is it often used in poetry? From a friend. Okay, great. So once I have stopped that recording, I can now preview. Perfect, so I'm going to save this right into my editor. Okay, so my first slide is complete. I can now add a transition right here. All right, I wanted to wipe left. All right, now my second slide will reopen the editor so I can pick an image and just drag it into my workspace. And now I can add an annotation such as, I um, can do a speech bubble, a thought bubble, a label, text. I'm just gonna add a label and I might write what is a metaphor? And it's a little larger. I could even change the background color. All right, so now I'm going to record my voice. What is a metaphor? A metaphor is a figure of speech. It's words or phrases used to make a comparison between people, things, animals, places, or emotions. Metaphors help provide our readers with a visual description. Okay, so now I could preview, and I would save that recording right into my clip. Okay. All right, so I already have two slides done. This is great. So now I'm gonna preview my movie sure it looks good so far. Here we go. So I have 36 seconds already. Awesome. Well, I am well on my way to making a fabulous Brain Pop style movie. I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy using this tool. Thank you so much for listening.